Welcome all of you here to Georgetown. And what a special delight, pleasure, and honor it is for me to introduce my colleague and friend, uh, Debbie Schifrin, who has been my colleague and friend since 1983 when she joined the faculty here. And I'd only been here a couple of years myself at that point. Uh, she has published three books, actually eight books, three that she wrote, and I'm sure you know them all, uh, Discourse Markers, Approaches to Discourse, In Other Words, Variation in Reference and Narrative, and then five others that she edited and co-edited. And as you know, she publishes regularly in all the major referee journals. ...evidence to show this. What we were concerned with was not only did, was it not just the crank turned backwards, but that also sociolinguistic factors, just as variable as those in production, could be incredible influences on how language was received, even, even comprehended in some cases. It's a wonderful experiment done by Rubin some time ago, which some of you I'm sure you remember, an Asian face is shown and a European American face is shown, but a young woman from Ohio is the only voice you ever hear. But the Asian face, accompanied by the Ohio voice, is always rated as more accented. If this wasn't bad enough, then in a later test, a closed test, the Asian face was also less well understood. Affect is fundamental to the human condition. Affect is, of course, social, and the social is affective. We don't build social categories around things we can't get emotional about. And more importantly, expressions of affect are no doubt the child's first opportunity to interpret the relation between so social relations and linguistic variability. We need to demonstrate our vitality to the academy, which is not simply sort of other linguists and end wave. It's OK there, all right? To the academies in which we exist, and also to have more of a presence in public life. You well know as well as I do that uh, most lay people still don't know what linguists uh, well, linguistic is and what linguists do for a living.